When you just have one day in New York, it's a gorgeous day in Manhattan. It's what better way to start your day in New York than with a bagel and uh, locks? Pick a route, two or three things that you are really excited about and, and then leave time to enjoy the day and see what happens. Part of being in New York is being spontaneous, talking to people and just being in the city. You could even ask for recommendations if you're in a certain neighborhood and just see how people respond to you because I want to claim that New Yorkers are actually pretty friendly and helpful. It's like one of those days that you dream about spring in Manhattan. It's like sunny with a little cool breeze. It's just... So I'm standing in front of Ore Washers and this is not only like an amazing place for bread and it's been here since god knows when also i recently discovered a great place to get a bagel and lox they also have some passover options and some not so passover options and uh speaking of passover if you're in like a rush and you just need like passover to go eli's has like a plate that you could just grab with like all of the things the parsley the shank Somewhere we need to be, we just stay here. Showing up out of the blue, never been so clear. I'm heading up to 86 and 2nd, where I'm gonna catch the Q train and take that down to Union Square. I'm gonna head west and go to Little Island Park. I've never seen this park, it's totally free, and I'm really excited. I really wanted to see it when. Um, in like 2021, but didn't get to because um, we were driving across the country at that time. I'm going to head up on the High Line. Later in the day, I'm gonna end up at Pace where I'll get to see um, the last paintings that he ever did and created. So it'll be kind of like a sandwich. It's Chuck Close sandwich. So, um, but I wanted to point out that it's not the 86th Street and Lexington Avenue stop. So if you are gonna make the trip up here, which is the Q line, this was like the recent subway they installed and everyone on the Upper East Side is super thankful that it's done. It's been done for a while, but it took a very long time. Uh, yeah, so this is like a really cool feature of this relatively new train line uh, here in Manhattan. This is more what it looks like up close, like in person. And then when I back away, that is Chuck Close. Self-portrait. When I graduated college, I had an internship at Pace McGill Gallery on 57th, and I had the opportunity of meeting Chuck Close, and I was pretty much awestruck and rendered speechless. Um, but the impression I got from him was that he was a very serious person, but also really kind. And uh, it was just like a highlight of my experience at Pace. Um, so it's really cool to be able to see his work today and uh, share it with you. And you can see that each individual tile, it looks like a total abstraction when I'm up close like this. And they also have like a little bit of um, um, depth, each one, and a little bit of variation.
got somewhere we need to be, we just stay Celebrating like the 400 years of Dutch settlers, and so now I'm just down here. I'm kind of like I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of like the after event, which is fine because honestly I hate crowds. It's amazing that I grew up in New York because it's not too bad. Ooh, damn Cold-brewer-based ice cream. Uh -huh. um, it's actually like this basketball player's brand. Uh, uh, it's his brand of coffee, like mixed with our ice cream. Would you like to try it? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. I saw this woman on the bus, she was with a group of kids, I guess she was a teacher, and um, she was speaking to these kids in sign language, and it made me curious of what they were saying, and I guess based on their body language, I got that the kids were being like a little sassy, I guess they were like preteens, and she navigated this conversation and had this them like cracking up. It was, it was
here at the little island park and it turned out to be a really beautiful day. Okay, there's like two ways to go in. There's an exit over there, so I think I'm gonna go in that way and then come out over here and continue on the high line. That's what I'm gonna do. Kissing under summer moon, passing waves in Malibu, no limitations. They have this nice chillax spot to sit. Some kids, ham and cheese, turkey, and lunchbox. Okay. Took the stairs to get up here. The elevators were out. Stay here. 
fragrance of her perfection. Kissing under summer moon, crashing waves in Malibu, no limitations. I was so excited to be able to see Pete's work in a gallery downtown. And he's one of my favorite artists. Uh, you might not be able to afford a Chuck Close, but you could possibly acquire a Pete Monet photograph. And if you are able to, you'll be very lucky because they are quite stunning and magical. He also uses um, lines of like the uh, the wires and, <laughs> and uh, he uses those to like add to the compositional elements um, so yeah they are just spectacular and magical um, and I'll link below if you want to purchase one I really recommend coming in person because you can't understand how different it looks. I'm like trying to get, but like the camera is making it different. I mean, it literally looks, let me see if I can do this. Like I'll, okay. It looks like that. When I'm looking at it in person, that's how it looks. The magic was that when I raised my smartphone, Everything came into focus and I could see the faces that were there all along. It's interesting to me that he leaned into this supposed weakness and created a lifetime of work in response to his inability to recognize faces. When you're standing in front of his work, the portraits are abstract, the way I imagine he experienced faces throughout his life. In an interview with Cindy Sherman, one of his longtime friends and colleagues, he said that the smartphone effect was not intentional. It was a surprise, and he likened it to the magical appearance of images in a traditional darkroom.
New York is a, a really kind of endless cool place that will just has so much to offer and see and do. So I hope you did something cool and you enjoyed yourself and had a great time. And uh, welcome to New York.